Hello. Is anybody out there? Oh my god, a creature. <laughs> I can't come on your mouth here. But if I could, I could just go. Ah. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Hi, hi. Hi, Levi. I slid back. Hello, my love. Hi, Brett. I tweeted, hello, Jacob, my brother, hello, Lore. Andrew Nat was telling me that they finished the entirety of that ghost show you recommended them, and they're incredibly anxious. Oh, yeah. It. <laughs> it did bad things to my brain, but since I'm done with it all, I can take a break and I'll recover. But hello, everyone. What do you think? What do you mean, fucking think? You're gorgeous. My mic a little closer. Alright, let me switch to my other, uh, my other scene so we can do a proper showcase. Let me zoom out. Where's my... Right. There we go! Check me out! Let me zoom out for one more. There we go. I only... Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I, um, I do not have hand tracking yet, so just expect my hands to stay at my sides. But that's okay, it'll happen eventually. Levi, you're epic. Also, I made, I made Cory too small, it looks like he's getting eaten by, <laughs> by my little ah. human in the corner there. I'll make you bigger for a second. There you go. I can also uh, <laughs> myself to be just d d bigger in like a bigger image. Whatever you feel like. Twig, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna fucking get you. I'm gonna fucking get you. But um, a fun fact: this model does have a penis, but it's not where you'd expect it to be. <laughs> Should that be the first thing I show off instead of doing a turnaround? <laughs> I think, I think that's, I think yes. Alright, you ready to just do some secrets? Are you ready for some yes. secrets? <laughs> Where is it? <laughs> Where is it? Are you trying to get up inside the model? Yes. Oh my god. I'm not joking, he actually has a penis in here, hold on. I, I lost myself. I'm trying so hard. God, this looks awful. It does. Where the fuck is it? Oh, you can almost see it. Oh. <laughs> Where is it? It's it's like oh, for it. It's like right that. You can see it. I have a penis tattoo on my neck. Oh my god. Lord, if this is a joke, and I let him keep it on here. Oh my god, beautiful. It is so, so, such an important part of this model. But not, <laughs> ban block reported. Now that we've seen that special little treat, uh, here we go with a little turnaround. My little, my little tail does wigglies. Aww. If I lean forward, my legs bend a bit. If I lean back, I take some steps back. Let's appreciate the back view. All of it, including his ass. Cheeks. His fucking cheeks! But, 
Fighter. He's little. He's tail wiggles. He's tail wiggles. <laughs> Boots. Yeah, he does. He, he does. Proud. Or had better be fucking proud of what he's done. Penis and Alma. <laughs> Alright, now for some silly stuff. Um, more helped, uh, more helped me add some, uh, like, preset animations onto him since he's just a humanoid shape, so a lot of things can apply to him. Um, mm. we're just gonna go down the line. Well, I opened up my little cheat sheet for my is because I don't have them memorized. You sit. You take a sit. I love his little feet teeth. Yeah. He's throwing hands. He's throwing hands. Yes. Slay. I mean, technically, he since he is on his like the tip of his toes, he technically is wearing on heels. Yeah, it works. I just thought this one was fun. I should say that for literally all of them, there was more than what I have saved. Uh, I just picked my favorites. Whoa! How is that? Whoa! Somehow, uh, copyrighted music started playing, so I hope that does not get me deemed. That would kind of suck. <laughs> At least I caught it on the first notes. I hope I'm fine. Mm. <laughs> I was just chicken dancing while that happens. All right, the next one. This is my. This one's my favorite. <laughs> you fucking throwing down. Let him go. Fuck it up. Fuck, Fuck it up. 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 Oops, this one. I can't not have this one. Oh yes, uh, most of the dances don't play on a loop, which is unfortunate. The breakdancing one does, though, so if I ever go AFK with other people on my stream, expect me to use that one. I'm going to... Thank you for subscribing! Thank you for subscribing! Oh, Jesus. <laughs> that was unintentional. <laughs> scrolling on this is very sensitive so if i'm not careful it, it just goes Shoo! i had meant to zoom in like this to give a proper thank you i can't i What was I? Oh, uh, that did not miss that last. Guitar. This one I think plays on the loop, but this I hope it does. I haven't really tested it. Uh, what else I got? Job. Job, King, job. On his model, it looks kind of silly, not gonna lie. I, I don't know. know. These look silly and it's it's intentional on my part. Uh, <laughs> push up. I think this one goes on a loop, which it should. Uh, These pits are too big. They go through. The, they clip through the floor. Yeah. 
and all of us tits go. Oh God. Salute. And he's got... Uh, it wasn't this one. Oh, Zombo. Watch this for days. He can applaud, but only when he's sitting. And backwards jog. And we've got stuff. Strutting his stuff. Because he's beautiful. Dancing. Here we got running fast. Let's do see the turn. Let's see him from the side. <laughs> see him running from the side. Yes. Oh, what? 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 Yeah, yeah, I definitely have to see him walk, going backwards from the, from the side. Okay. <laughs> 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 it looks so silly. Lord, I, I wish you had not told me that because that's going to be the only thing I'm going to do for the rest of my life now. Yeah, the the um, oh, what's it? The running fast one. No, no, no. The the thing that Laura was saying, the having bull dance to Miku, and I'm like, what's yes. the iconic one called? Um, like the song. I know it. Like people call it. I'm thinking of the or whatever, however it goes. That was unrecognizable to me. Um, I only know it as the leak spin dance. I can't remember what the actual song is. Yes, that's it. <laughs> easy. It's like easy. Why am I blanking? It's all right. Yeah, there's um, a lot of Miku songs that I would make Bull Dance to. Uh, let me, um... Let me change something real quick. I don't want the gun to be capturing my... cursor. There we go, that was an easy fix. But yeah, here's another final turnaround. Oh, we cool. So you can see him his tail. Oh yeah, I gotta, I gotta show feet for Tom Hunter. Whoa. Yeah, he's got, he's got little, uh, foot pads. Like the emoji that I have in the chat. Alright. Well, now that we've, uh, Got that under our belts. Let's say we do some art. Yep, there's the emoji. Yep, yep, there you go. And I've disabled my transformation redeems for today because I'm not, I am not putting the model away. You can't make me put them away. You can't make me. I can make myself a little easier to fit because I'm an awkward shape. 
I can rotate you. True. Do you want me to rotate you or do you want to change again? Uh, I can also become... This Beautiful. guy. Let me, uh, scooch you a little bit again. Where did you go? There. In fact, I'm gonna flip you. Uh, yeah, I was about to be like, oh, I can... I was about to say that I can make a flipped one where you, then you can slide me underneath the chat. Oh, I can just, I can just flip you myself. I'm just trying to remember how. Oh, it's transform. Uh, flip horizontal. There we go. Yeah, then you can. I am such a shape. You can fit me right under chat, and like my little head, you can poke up and see. There you go. Make you bigger than sincere. Over here by yourself. And then that gives everybody else room. Yeah. In case anyone else decides to join. Oh, that's sick. Thank you. Alright, I'm gonna have to move myself a little bit. Because I'm taking up the screen. Where did I go? There we go. Thank you. This, um, uh, to answer Laura's question, this is going to be inadoptable. Um, it's, it's like a hyena being made out of wood, like a tree. I'm kind of, I'm kind of just going off of vibes. Usually I don't stream, um, when I work on adoptables, but today's a special occasion, and also this is the only thing I have to work on right now. So, that's what we get. so hard to get myself at an angle that I like. There. That's tolerable. Tolerable. Ha 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 ha, I'm so funny. <sighs> that little squat action I did just then was me grabbing my tablet. Strong. Yep. Have you gained any muscle weight? Uh, I don't know about muscle weight, but I've definitely, you can see I have arms now. Nice. <laughs> and I know it's driving Indrid insane. <laughs> Congrats, Indrid. <laughs> 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 The back, my uh, my back muscles are like a little harder to notice at the moment because it's just it's harder to work those muscles than it is yeah. like arm muscles. But like, there's a tiny bit you can't see, and I know know that um, injured caught a view of it, like a tiny bit of it the other day, and he's like, "Dude, <laughs> well, bear with me for a second. For some reason, uh, my webcam tilted forward, and it made me look fucked up." Yes, congratulations to you, Indri. Mm -hmm. And congratulations, Corey, for the extra, uh, extra flesh. Yes. Said it, but thank you for letting me know. <laughs> it looks like Twitch has a um, a 
special deal on subscriptions this month. Mm. Yeah. Niche stuff. finish this tonight, because I don't have a whole lot going on right now, so I should be able to. excited for when I can get hand tracking someday so I can like reach my hand out and like pat people's heads when they're on stream with me. That would be very fun. Yeah. Also throw punches. That's the, the most important one. For what? Punches? Throw punches, yes. Yes. And great violence. Soon, but like when? When? <laughs> oh, you want to know the weirdest thing I discovered the other day? What? So, you know those websites where you can put an image in and it'll determine if it's AI generated or not? Mm -hmm. I put my own art in there, and it's and like most of the sites said my art was AI generated, and I was so pissed. Oh. I'm like, how dare you? How dare you? And it wasn't on all my art pieces, it was explicit, like specifically um, the Angel Dragon that I drew. He was like, yeah, this is procedurally generated. I'm like, how about, how about I kill you, actually? How about I destroy you with my brain? Yeah, how, how about I run at you at 800 miles per hour and I don't stop? Sites are not, um, they're not foolproof. Unfortunately. Yeah. settings. He's just hiding. I could have two bulls at once if I wanted. Nice. humanity. I guess the sites were right. I'm above, above everyone else. 
my revolt. Uh, here's, a, here's a fun thing about this model. Um, I don't ha I don't have like full-on face tracking because this mouth doesn't have to open for him to talk. But when I open my mouth, my model jitters a bit because I think it's trying to compensate for the fact that my face doesn't move. So watch this. That's me opening closing my mouth. Is that slightly <laughs> So what is it you were working on that has a deadline? If you're allowed to talk about it. Uh, yeah, I'm allowed to talk about it. Um, okay. it's, just, it's just like, um, so I'm in a Spider Sona Spider-Verse server, and I think this is a, a Twitter tied to it or something. Um, basically, it's kind of like a uh, Met Gala, but for everyone oh, to like, oh. draw their Spider Sona on outfits. Yeah. Are you making an outfit yourself, or are you referencing one? Uh, I'm making a combination of like referencing, but like kind of tying things together in their own way. Nice. Kind of a bit of both. Nice, nice. I'm excited to see it when it's done. So am I. Look at all these little guys here on the stream today. Look at all of you. Too many. More, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. So I'm trying to, uh, I think I might have told Corey this already, but I might not have, so I'll repeat it anyway. But for Halloween, I was trying to think of, like, what special thing I could do on stream, um, or near Halloween, because enough people usually have stuff going on on Halloween. Um, I was thinking I could have people share their uh, personal ghost stories on stream. So like, if uh, uh, if anybody went, uh, any of my uh, stream friends wanted to come on and share some themselves, they could, but I'll also have like, like a Google form or something for people to submit their own stories so I can read them out. And I'll, I'll turn my voice mod off to read it so it's easier for people to understand. But, um, I think that'd be a fun time. 
Yeah, yeah I don't remember this with me, but that does sound fun. Yeah, I, uh, I could fill an entire stream with just my own stuff, but I want to involve the community, so I will be sharing only a little of my stuff. Also trying to think of, like, uh, I can, uh, in this, uh, VTuber program, I can just, like, slap an image onto the model. Um, I might just give him a flat mask that's just a PNG over his face. But I don't, I don't know what, what to address him up as. I have time to figure it out, though, unfortunately. Yeah. explain the whole graveyard dirt to you. Okay, yeah, I was there. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Oh yeah, I was like, what, were you there? Or were... Couldn't remember. Myself too, so they get to wait. Yeah, Hellboy's more important. Nice, Indrid. Yeah, I'll be sure to like mention if it's like, um, if people don't have personal stories, but they have like one from a family member or a very close friend, I'll accept those too. so that I don't have to hurt my brain when I'm trying to make all these crazy designs symmetrical because I don't have to. I don't have to. I don't have to. You can't make me.
this character is very fun. I'm gonna be sad to let it go. Is it making the sound effect for y'all? I really hope it is. I can hear it. I know you can. Sometimes we can hear it, but they can't. Mm -hmm. Oh, you took a sit right up my leg. That's so cute. You sit down. Uh, I can't. I, I can't. I can't lean down in a way to give a kiss. I tried so hard. <laughs> it's not gonna happen. Oh. Yes, I shall protect you. I am glad the sound plays because it's very important. You know what? I think this is my first art stream since since my surgery. I didn't even I didn't even realize. I think you're right. Yep.
Luckily, um, this character won't have too much variance in its colors. So the most tedious part that I've had to deal with is, uh, all of this shit. Mm. I say it's tedious, but it's also really fun. I like drawing, uh, wood textures. Or tree textures. Speaking of tedious but fun, one of these days, um, excuse me, one of these days I want to do another portrait piece for Universal Monsters, because I miss doing those. I want to draw the Bride of Frankenstein. My beautiful wife. This is not my beautiful home. This is not my beautiful life. procedure that I wasn't aware of, uh, but I'm assuming it's part of the giving my nerve more room to heal thing, but they, s <laughs> this is gonna sound weird, they slightly lengthened my arm. Huh. By like, uh, maybe two millimeters tops. Weird. Yeah, so if I, if I stretch my hands all the way out, my right arm sticks out a tiny bit further. And I, I, yeah. I don't understand how that works. That's bananas. Yeah, I, like, I have my follow-up appointment in a couple weeks, I'm gonna ask, like, hey, what is this? What is this? Like, did y'all do this, or...? No, they did. It's, and it's not a bad thing. Um, it's, it was on my medical bill receipt, arm lengthened. Oh. Really bizarre. Um, and I, the, the weird part is I was not briefed on that being part of the process of seeing that in my medical bills when I wasn't aware that was part of it. Um, it's kind of fucked up, so I hope I can, um, yeah. argue that I should not be charged for that. Yeah. But I'll find out. It didn't hurt me, so that's good. Also, all of the gross bruising on my arm is gone. I just have... Um, all of the what? The bruising. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, when I got my arm out of the splint, it was like 20 different colors because of all the bruises on the surgery side and nasty. Mm. But it's fine now. Well, that's good. Yeah.
This creature has so much going on. Oh yes, another thing uh, that's happened since I last streamed. Uh, we had a hurricane come through here the other day. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I am in North Florida, and the area I'm in was supposedly going to get hit really fucking bad. But last second, the storm tilted a little bit, and what we ended up getting was... Like, it was no big deal at all. My power didn't even go out, which is great. Um, That's good. But the, uh, the funniest thing is there was such little damage. But the only place that was, like, badly damaged was the governor's mansion because a hundred-year-old tree fell on it. Uh. And I'm like, are you serious? Like, ripped to that poor tree, but it, it died doing the public service. Yes. Eat shit, raw dissensus. Open seed. Tragically, though, know, raw dissensus was not hurt in this situation. Unfortunate. So sad. Covering some of the chat. Alright. And there. Right. 
anyone curious, um, that little pixel sprite of an orange cat on the right of the screen with the chat box is a, a placeholder for my cat Sherman because sometimes they'll pop on the stream and I'll let purr into the mic. Um, I want to get, like, I, I want to design, like, an actual demon cat version of him because his sounds through my voice mod are so funny. But mm -hmm. until I do that, we've got that little pixel art from MapleStory as a placeholder. I wish it came in GIF form, because every MapleStory NPC is it's an animated it's an animated character. So the, the little cat's supposed to like giggle and then disappear like the Cheshire cat and come back, but I couldn't find a GIF version of him online. Which is very frustrating. Mm -hmm. There, there's all of his individual frames, so like I could put that together and make it myself, but I'm like, why would I do that? <laughs> why would I do that when it already exists? Yeah, it already exists. Where is it? Where is it? I'm so excited for the Hellboy game. I don't care if it ends up being dog shit, I'm gonna love it. just how it usually goes. Yep. We usually eat separately anyway, so it's not like I'm not used to it. Oh, um, yesterday, me and a friend watched uh, the first three episodes of the live-action One Piece on Netflix. And yeah, um, Andrew's brother held him hostage to watch it. Yeah, I, I'm about to say something bold. This live action remake, remake is very fucking good. It is very, very good. It's very, very, very good. If you are to watch any live action remake of anything, have it be the One Piece on Netflix. There is eight episodes total. And I'm, like, devastated that I can't binge through them all right now because we're waiting for, um, we, we had a friend come over to watch it with us and we're waiting for him to have more free time. I want to watch it. I want to watch it so bad. <sighs> for anybody, um, who was not following me, like, seven plus years ago, which is most of you. I used to be really into One Piece. Oh my god! Who the fuck is that? Who do you think? <laughs> hi, uh, hi. Someone wanted to say hi to you. Yes. Can you say hi? Hi. Oh, hi. Hello. Hello. We surprised them! Oh, we did surprise them! You got me good! <laughs> Can she hear my uh, funny voice? No. <laughs> <laughs> Here, hold on. I'll, I'll give her the headphones real quick. No one say any curse words! There's no, a three no bad words! Yeah. Hold up, I'm bad words okay. for a second. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, you wanna hear? Look at Nat! Is... No, it's Nat, you silly goose! <laughs> this is Twig, yeah. and this is Nat, Twig's child Do you hear Nat's silly voice? That's today! 
What's today? Oh, Grimace! <laughs> What's today? Today is Friday. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. Ella, I'm I, you know me, I'm Matt with a funny voice. What? <laughs> I'm Matt. What? <laughs> Can you hear me, honey? What? <laughs> <laughs> Tell me who I am again. What day is it? What day Friday, is it? It's Friday. Friday. Why are you asking <laughs> now what day it is? String cheese. You eating some string cheese? Cheese is pretty good. Can I have the headphones back? <laughs> what? What did you d eat for breakfast? <laughs> Stop. I had an egg sandwich. What? Well, I went to, to the fair. Yeah, did you have fun? Uh, uh, there was no farms. I was learning how to make milk from cows. Wow. She's lying. There were a ton of farm animals, and she did. She learned how to milk a cow. And and we went on the roller coaster. Also Whoa. incorrect. <laughs> Which ride did we go on? Uh, the Ferris wheel. Yeah. But, and we found the haunted house. We did. Send out a picture of the haunted house. Huh? Yeah. We didn't go in it because it was too scary. Oh, is it like, uh, like an actual uh, house where they jump out at you? What? Was it one what of those haunted houses where people jump out at you or was it real? Oh, it was this creepy. Oh. Uh, Maybe. Because, because I was too small. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Well, maybe when you're older. Oh, thank you, but <laughs> what do kangaroos do? <laughs> what? <laughs> what do dragons like to do? Oh, she's looking at the little the stream avatars. <laughs> who is who she it? really wanted to say hi to? No, you can stand right there because I'm gonna take the headphones. What back. do you wanna? See my favorite thing to do? Honey, Nat can't see you. I can't see you right now. <laughs> None honey. of them can see you, honey. We're just watching. Mom, what's that? Who's that? Which one? That in the way. What that noise is Nat talking. <laughs> <laughs> is it him? I'll turn my voice right over so here? Yeah, that's the bull character, remember? What do you wanna do when you blow up? <laughs> Me? Hi, I turned my funny voice off. Can you understand me better? Yeah. Hi, did you ask did you but, ask me that question? No, him. Oh, the bull? What does the <laughs> bull want to do when the bull grows up? Yeah. Um, when I grow up. Where's I've the grown up. <laughs> Where's the bull? Why is the bull not talking? I I am, honey. I just turned my funny voice off. Look, well, I want the ball. You, you want you have the funny voice back? Yeah. Okay, let me turn it back on. What do you wanna be do? What do you wanna be do? What do I wanna do? <laughs> <laughs> uh -oh. I'm gonna cry. Oh, I. I just like to. <laughs> Is that I'm silly? My name is Ella. Yeah. No, I'm Every, Ella. Everybody in the chat who can hear me, you better all say hi to Ella right now. Hello, Ella. Thank you. Oh, uh, no. Uh, what do you want to do at the fair? What do I want to do at the <laughs> fair? Yeah. Um, do they have like a farmer's market? Oh, there's no farmer's market. They don't sell any jam or anything. Oh, milk. They sell milk. What? No. <laughs> uh, 
We have a farmer's market, it's just not at the fair. Mom? Yes? Why is he not talking? Because he just kind of... The words come out without having to move his mouth. What do you want to do, Jake? <laughs> it's still Nat. <laughs> look, but Jake says hi, look. <laughs> That's his comment. He says hi, Ella. Where's Jake? His little character. Look, he's this little dragon right there. <laughs> the I'm going to take the headphones back, okay? Say bye. Bye. Say have a good stream. Have a good dream. Have a good dream. <laughs> good job, baby. We just wanted to say hi. She was like, who are those little guys? Thank I was so like, much. well, that's that right so now. Nice. You're welcome. I'm sorry for hijacking, but I was like, you know what? We can go say hi. We're going to do it. You're literally welcome to hijack whenever you want. Yes. I, good. I, I love attention. That's great. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay, you can go back to drying and stuff. Bye, guys. <laughs> Bye. 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 <laughs> that was so cute. For anybody who missed the context, that was my friend Twig, um, lavender dust here in chat, and um, that was that was their their daughter wanting to say hi. That was so fucking cute. I can say the I can say the bad words now. This now is not listening anymore. This stream is 18 plus, but I will revert to being a kindergarten teacher if Ella is anywhere nearby. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry if you heard me like loud thunk for me. I'm cutting a pineapple. <laughs> You're dead. Is it a tasty pineapple? Is it good? I is juicy as hell. Hell yeah. I let it ripen for like as long as possible and I was like, ooh, maybe cut this now. Good. Take a little, a little breather break. I got really excited there and it made me feel a little gassy and I can't burp so I, my, my throat's all Gunky for a second. Mm. Yeah, that's pineapple. Oh, 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 ginger. When it's so much return into what what avatar is that? I can't even see it, it's so small. Is that a Digimon? Incomprehensible. Corey, can you can you see what this tiny little bitch is right next to your uh, right? Oh, you're walking away from it. Oh, it's following you. Can you see a tall hunter's thing right there? I cannot. Yeah, what the what fuck is, is it? A tiny little bird. It's so small. <sighs> well, I'm gonna I'm gonna full screen on my Twitch browser to see if I can see it better. I think it's a Digimon. I don't know what one, but that would be the only reason why it's so small, because I added a few more Digimon packs. Oh, um, and I forgot to resize them. again because I don't know if I said it clear earlier but this character is going to be an adoptable um only my patrons can claim adopts in advance but um this is a special little preview for people watching my, my Twitch at least but hey if nobody on my Patreon buys it it'll be up for sale um maybe tomorrow
Are you just having pineapple by itself, or are you cutting it in something? I'm cutting it up right now. Are you cutting it up to eat it, or to like for this it, movie? I'm just gonna eat it by itself, I don't okay. like pineapple. Pineapple. But right now, I'm just cutting it. Nice. When I get hand tracking, I can add a Twitch redeem where people can feed me. Uh, food will appear in my hand, and if I bring it up to my face, it will disappear, so it looks like I ate it. Oh my god. Since uh, we were talking about Halloween earlier, um, aside from like my stream plans, um, on Halloween itself, I am so excited because since we have our own house, we'll finally be able to have trick or treaters. Oh, nice! Yes, um, because at our our apartment didn't have a whole lot of kids, um, so it just it was not common for us to get a knock at the door at Halloween. But this year, this is there's a lot of kids in this neighborhood. So I'm I'm expecting to be very busy. Nice. Good, there's good a lot stuff. of kids in our apartment. But what? Oh, uh, I just said good stuff. What'd you say? Well, I was saying there's a lot of kids at our or at my apartment complex. Um because we have a bus that comes through here yeah. to drop people off. Here too. Um but I was here last year for Halloween, but uh, nobody came to the door. Because I think everyone goes everywhere else. Damn. Is well, that, that, could, that could be a blessing, too. Sometimes you don't want to be bothered. Hmm? I said that could be a blessing, too, because sometimes people just don't want to be bothered. Yeah. My, my dad's one of the people that's like, um, at Halloween, uh, at my dad's place, or at my dad's old place, um, he would have to put chairs up in front of porch to prevent people from like knocking on the door because even if we would have our light off people would still see the um the living room lights on and uh, would still come over. yeah and one time we even had like the window open because it was a cool night outside and it, like someone stood in our yard and was like hey there's people out here and my dad walked into the door and went i know go away <laughs> Yeah, a lot of people just don't know a Halloween etiquette when it comes to it. If the porch light is off, do not approach. Yeah, this year I'll, uh, I'll break out my creature from the Black Lagoon mask to hand out candy. Nice. It's, it's the only, like, decent costume I have, so it'll, it'll, It'll pull its weight. Mm -hmm. And there was one year that I was carving a pumpkin on the porch, like on Halloween night, because I just couldn't think of anything to carve the pumpkin with. And I also didn't want it to like get nasty. Yeah. Um, because like it still gets kind of hot in October in Oklahoma. Yeah. And so pumpkins will just wither. Um, 
And so I was sitting on the porch and like cutting my pumpkin and some people like did walk up and they're like, um, are you out here for candy? Or I'm like, nah, I'm just carving. And they're like, okay, have a good night. And I'm like, <laughs> have a good night. Man, I'm just carving. I'm just out here carving. <laughs> So close to being done with the lights. God, I wish I had a juicer juicing machine because this pineapple is like I maybe waited like a day or two a little bit a little too late to like cut it to like because it is like golden. No, it's not yellow, it's golden. Yeah. Save up for a juicer. Or you can just squeeze it with your hands like an animal. No. <laughs> But what I am doing is contemplating, do I pour a little bit of sugar on these to like make them like produce more juice or not? That is a choice to make. Make them have syrup. Also, is everyone enjoying my the ASMR of me shaking fruit in a container? I sure am. That sounds atrocious. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. 
we get somewhere near it. Thank you, Slinkmaker. It is good to watch you. Oh, uh, there's also, like, a bunch of preset redeems that I can put in, um, for my model right now. I just haven't, I haven't done it yet. So that's on me. But, um, I'll get it eventually. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> it's dead when I say it's dead. <laughs> I'm hoping the sugar will help preserve it like just a little bit more. Yeah. Oh, there's a there's another thing I can add to my model that I I just forgot to do. Um there's like a way where I can have his hands posed like he's holding a tablet and when I move my cursor around, it'll move his arm around. Uh, oh my God. like he's drawing. Um, oh my God. There's probably a tutorial on how to do it. I know other Vignon users that have that. I just, I completely forgot. <laughs> so I'll get that eventually. You said this is another demon angel child? No, this is just an adoptable. Ah. It's, um, I mean, it, I mean, it could have been a demon, but it's, it's like a creature made out of wood, like a tree. Mm. Here, hold on. Hey, Ginger, come here. Ginger! 
You, know, you want to crunch? You want to crunch some lace? Crunch. Oh my goodness. Is it salty? <laughs> Ginger crunch. Pristine. It was a salt and vinegar chip, and it's really funny when it's like, she'll, she'll, eat, she'll eat them, but she'll make a face like, oh, he's salty. <laughs> She's so precious. So desperate for food, she will eat salt and vinegar chips. Valid. But I won't give her very many, because I don't, that, that's too much sugar. Yeah. Or, too, too much salt. It's, a, it's kind of a good thing that my model doesn't open its mouth because um, oftentimes when I'm drawing, my mouth will just be hanging open. Oh Nobody my god, that's, that. a, that's the opposite problem of me. Like, I <laughs> notice that I will sometimes be clenching my teeth and I'm like, oops. Careful. When I get, it happens when I get focused. Yeah. Here's a crumb. A crumb? Please, sir, a crumb. Please, Father. Please. I'm starving. You've so. never fed me a day in my life. <laughs> Hydrate. Thank you. Appreciate it. Stretch, 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 stretch. Balls. Balls. Oops. 
You're so right, Slick Mick. There's like the the uh, pyramid of needs to survive. Balls is right at the top. I have peaches too. Ooh, hold on. Move, Ginger. Move, 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 move. Move, move. 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 Again, I just ordered some, um, because I was like, ooh, I need one of those little, like, shortcake things. Um, I just placed an order for those. Just ripe enough that you can just like peel the skin off. Sets for all those fun little poses and dances. There was a stretching line, and I, I, I was gonna put it on something, but I forgot. Oh. So I could do it whenever I, whenever somebody redeemed stretch. But my bad. I'll have to fix that later. Mm -hmm.
Corey, I, um, I don't recommend watching that show that fucked me up just because I know you're, uh, you're weaker no than I am. <laughs> um, but can I tell you about one of the episodes that made me start fucking, like, bawling? I was crying. Full on. Yeah. Absolutely, so, yes. It's, it's not scary. It's, it was a good cry. Um, Ingrid, stop listening for a few minutes if you want to watch it. Don't listen. Um, but there, there was, um, a very notoriously haunted place that they went to, and it was like a whole season of them revisiting the place after visiting it years before. Mm -hmm. And on the last episode, they came into contact. Oh, wait, look, let me back up. Before they went to get, they consulted a psychic and were like, um, is there anything we should know before going? And the psychic said that there's a spirit named Sam that's waiting for them there and he wants to cross over. But he doesn't oh. think he deserves to go to heaven. Oh. Yeah. It's very sad. And, um, it's, uh, it, the psychic specifically said that the spirit was Christian. So, um, the, the one Christian they have on the team was tasked with helping him cross over. So they, they get there, and they're like trying to contact the spirit the whole time. And then finally at the end, um, all of their machinery starts blipping, like all the EMF detectors and everything, when they're like, uh, one of the sensitive people says that they've heard somebody say, I don't deserve to go to heaven, and then everything went up. And then they're like, yes you do. You do deserve to go to heaven. And, uh, and like all their machinery is going nuts. It's going insane. And um, it's at that moment that they pinpoint a spot where the spirit seems to be concentrated. And um, Ty, the, the Christian in the group, gets his grandmother's Bible out and starts reading a passage about um, salvation to the spirit. And um, their group is full of a lot of sensitive, uh, ghost sensitive people. And they all described that they could see every spirit in the house gathering to watch this as they try to help this poor soul ascend. Oh. And, like, it was a long Bible verse, and when he finished, all of their devices went silent. Oh. Everything shut off. And I just started bawling. I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> I'm so crying in bed right now. It was really, really touching. Yeah, that's a oh. If, like, I, I bet you could probably handle that one moment, but the rest yeah. of that, um, the rest of that season, I would not recommend you watch. But, <sighs> holy shit. Like, See, I, you say that, but I also really like watching the show A Haunting, so... <laughs> yeah. Well, I just... I just know from experience of trying to watch these ghost shows with you that you're you got a cut off point. Yeah, and like I was telling you before the stream, I got final girl disease, so I know when to cut off. Yeah. But yeah, they um It was a really nice episode. And a very good end to the season. Yeah, it sounds like it. Yeah. There was another um, another instance of them helping a different spirit somewhere else cross over, and it was um, one of the witchy people helping at this time. And um, that also made me cry. Uh -huh. It's just... It's... <sighs> oh, I can't fucking take that. <laughs> if you want to watch it. I, go ahead. Okay. 
Like I said, I watch a haunting, so I could watch that show. Yes. It's just I know when to. <gasps> no, a slice of meat. No, bitch. Five second roll. Bridges. So I know when to stop. What? No, that's what I said. Five second rule. Oh. Okay. Um. So in the in the episode, they they're at a location where uh, a Ouija board was used a few times in the past, and it gave them some results. Um. So they decided to do it there because, of course, why wouldn't you? If there's history of it working. If you want to know the only thing that is spelled twice in a row. They got what twice in a row? What? Do you want to know the only word that the spirit spelled on the Ouija board twice in a row? What? U-T-I. <laughs> Urinary tract infection. Well, good for them, I guess. The first time people were like, okay, maybe that was a mistake. And so they asked whatever their question was again, and then it said UTI again, and they're like, okay, I think we need to put the board away. <laughs> I was filled with dread as they pulled that thing out, because I, I can't stand Ouija boards, they freak me out. But as soon as they, sp as soon yeah, as they spelled UTI, I couldn't. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's one, there's, there's one haunt, um, ghost show I remember watching. I do not remember which one it is, but they went to a house where a Ouija board was used, um, and uh, they were trying to contact uh, the one go the one spirit you're usually not wanting to contact because that's where like uh, it said that like uh, the last person that used a board there was able to get a hold of it, and now the place is, has a demonic haunting. Yeah. Um, they were using the board and they got the infamous three knocks of a demon in the area and I was like, oh fucking idiot. So like they were trying to contact that that spirit like specifically to be like, hey, can you leave? <laughs> and um needless to say, the, the spirit was like, I'm not le I am not leaving. Fuck off. Yeah. Yeah, oh, oh, the, the weird part about the UTI thing, though, is they have, like, a follow-up thing where... <sighs> this might be a fluke, but they said that a week after they got that UTI message on the Ouija board, two members of the house's family got urinary tract infections. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, no. It was a warning. <laughs> the funniest shit ever. Like, even if the ghost somehow caused that to happen, <laughs> that's hilarious. Yeah. Yes, Henry, there's a, there's a lot of beings that will feed off of people's fear. So sometimes people are specifically afraid of demons. So that's a little manifest. Oh yeah, and demons are the ones that really like to feed off of fear the most. Yep. Hello, kid. Yeah. yeah, and in that same episode, um, the one that I was telling about with the they were trying to contact, um I can't remember I cannot remember the guy's the demon's name, but it's like one of the ones where like you do not want this guy in your house or like through the board. Yep. Um because there's a chance that he won't hang up. Um, um, but there was one person in their group, I think it was like a woman or something like that, but like she got like mildly possessed for a little bit and had to leave the, the, the building. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, that shit's fucked up. Yeah. Possession is so weird. There's a... Yeah, because like... They, they got her out of the building and like she snapped out of whatever it was that was happening to her and she's like why am i outside and they're like you were act like don't you remember how you were acting in, in the building and she's like no fucked up yeah I'm like oh jesus christ there's an episode of ghost adventures where one of the guys gets possessed but the only thing he does which is still very scary is he uh like he stops talking immediately he's staring at the floor and then like 
slowly turned his face up to the guy holding the camera, and his eyes were just, like, not normal looking, and he was not responding to what anybody was saying. Jesus Christ. And I'm like, hey, how about, how about stop that? How about you guys get out of there? You want to know the worst part about that? What? The location that happened at is a place I've been to many times. Oh no. It's the uh, Moon River Brewing Company in Savannah, Georgia. Mm. It's a, in a building that used to be a hospital and a hotel, um, hundreds of years old. Um, right now it's currently a brewery and a restaurant and the food is very good. I highly recommend going just for the food. Mm. But yeah. God, these peaches have cracks of them like ass. <laughs> Hold on. I'm gonna show you these ass crack peaches. Okay. Stretch and hydrate. I'm doing it. Those are some ass crack peaches. Let me see. I'm looking. Oh, yeah. <laughs> those, are, those are full on ass crack peaches. <laughs> yes. 100%. That is. Hey, yes. The first one I cut did not have that going on, it just had like a normal little like <laughs> Please. Bless my peach ass.
Cringe is so good looking. <laughs> Sorry, I just opened up a peach and I'm like, oh, this looks so tasty. Nice. I like, cut one peach and put it in, like, got it ready for, like, making, like, fruit juice and stuff like that. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, but now I want to eat one of these. So I peeled another peach and I just cut it open and I'm like, oh. <laughs> I'm to eat this over the sink like an animal. You're so valid. I think that might be just about done too, actually. I might make some of the lines brighter than the base, just to see how it looks. That would be my shortcake.
and my strawberries. Strawberries. Hey, I think this beastie is done!
Okay, that's... What the fuck? YouTube is freaking out. Do you have autoplay turned on? It's off. What are you talking about? Anytime it gets to the end of uh, this playlist I'm on, it goes to something random. It's gonna get me in trouble. Alright, let's see. Let's switch. Let's switch to Diddy Kong Racing. Let's feel a little silly. Beautiful. Is this an excessive amount of watermarks? Maybe. Do I care? No. Mm -hmm. I'm break dancing now. Apparently. I I selected a hockey. Whoops. Oopsie! You guys want to dance, and he's about to dance a lot more because I had to put words on this picture. Let's see what happens to him. What should I name this thing? Uh, Dead Park. And now he's applying.
Sorry, it's done. Phew. Set my tower down for a minute. I am saving the Indies. Alright, I have to move you in. I, I have to move this away from where I am in the kitchen. Because I got to 10% battery and I'm like, oopsie. Oh no! I don't want me to start throwing hands. <laughs> Or did you? It's really funny that whenever I type, he just starts freaking out. Especially because I don't have my uh, hotkeys memorized. <sighs> okay, before I get started on the next one, I'm going to take a, a quick bathroom and snap break. And, uh, and Corey, since it's just you and me, I'll just go to the BRB screen.
right back. Alright, and I... I'm at pop out. Uh, I got to... Well, call my boyfriend, but to do workout stuff. Uh, will you have fun with that? I wish you I will. all of the success in getting swole. Oh yeah, I need to I need to do like a face uh, video call with you some point. Yeah. Where you can see my arms. Oh yeah. We can do that soon. Right. Bye. Bye bye. Now it is just us chat. Crunch crunch. Okay. Let's see. I'm trying to think of something to make like a mascot out of, but I, I need like a creature to start with, I think. At least kind of, I gotta think of something. My cat? <laughs> oh, thank you for coming! Should I be calling you Zero? How should I pronounce your name? I'm not gonna make the bull's cat only because um, I, I, I want this to be like an adoptable that I can sell. I'll design Demon Sherman eventually, but right now is not that time. But what I can do is turn on the symmetry tool. If I can find it, hold on. Z is for zero. Okay, okay. I understand now. Thank you so much. Well, my camera's gonna freak out for a second because I have to I have to scoot it to see part of my screen. Enthusiasm. Oh. What's up with my angle? Hold on. Why am I? What's happening? Why are you squatting? Bitch. Alright, I'm just gonna envision the cutest thing that I can think of. Maybe I can make it a uh, make it a bat. something like like small and cute like uh Pikachu or Hello Kitty
Thank you. The, uh, these things down here are, um, an add-on you can buy on Steam called Stream Avatars. There's a lot to choose from. Speaking of, what did you spot it as? You're a Pichu! Aww! If you want to select a character, um, if you're on desktop, you can just scroll down in my description. Um, and you'll see the Stream Avatars widget. If you want to stay Pichu, that's great too. Um, but yeah, you can see the, the Stream Avatars widget down there in the description. But if you're on mobile, um, use full screen to chat, and in the top right, there will be a little SA icon for my camera. My camera's bad. Chill out. Are we good? I'll make it, like, a little starry space feed that. Let's give it a... Oh, let's make it nose, make his nose shaped like a star. Look at his big... Um, uh, not right now, but I, I appreciate the enthusiasm. Uh, I'm trying to make, uh, adoptable characters to sell. Uh, here I can show you what I, what I was working on before you showed up. Yeah, I, I did this, this, uh, hyena-looking thing that's made out of tree bark. Um, this one took like most of my energy for today, so I'm making a small, cute one now that doesn't require as much, as much energy. Thank you very much! I don't know why. I don't know why people are squatting. Oh, he burst my chair a bit. Is that better? Okay, there we go. And now it's like, um, I'm, I'm designing a cute little bat adopt. Is that finished? I finished that more complicated adoptable, and now I'm, uh, making a simpler one.
and we're listening to Diddy Kong Racing soundtrack. Shout out to Diddy Kong Racing. The model doesn't keep up with me very fast. If I if I move really fast, it'll get confused. I can only be a little bit autistic. You won't tolerate the rest of my autism. I'm not, I, I'm not bullying. <laughs> Shout out to my fellow Tism Hazards, Tism Havers, in chat. Same thing with ADHD. Because I also have that. slander in my house. I was saying that this little bat was supposed to be easier, but I'm being very particular about how I want the sheets to be, so I don't know how much easier it's actually going to be. I think my stream elements are broken too. I've not seen a cycle through once during the stream. I might need to troubleshoot here for a second.
Yeah, don't, don't mind, my voice is changing. I'm hitting hotkeys while I type. didn't it didn't work um let's see can I do it manually balls do balls works Says it works now. I don't know why it did it earlier. That was weird. Alright, back to this. Back to this little guy. Also an adoptable, but I wanted to make a simpler one since I just finished. I just finished another one, so I didn't. I didn't want to put too much effort into this, but I think I um, I think I have no self control. Thank you. Chaos. 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 I don't have any Vignon Redeems yet because I'm silly and I haven't set them up yet. But I'll figure it out. Um, it'll get them. Which one? The last one or this one? Because I'm pretty sure both will be flat sale. I don't know what I'm going to charge for this little bat, though. Hi, Kiwi! Look, it's a bat! It's a- it's your brethren! It's your brethren, it's a little bat! Okay, 
てください。I'm praying, I'm praying. So many hearts! Extreme elements, finally awake. <laughs> it's all right. I usually run pretty late. So it's not gonna be perfect, but we'll we'll uh we'll get it where it needs to be. Alright, where are you? There we go. Okay, I'll try not to move around too much so you can go. Isaac! Okay. <laughs> yeah, now you know it. Titty time is, it's not, it's not gonna break TOS, don't worry. Get me. 
You didn't get me! One of these days, I gotta play Phasmophobia on stream. And just let y'all absolutely ruin my life with stuff like that. <laughs> Listen, you learn something every day. on stream with my friend Twig. Um, it was really fun, but it's, it's a very labor-intensive game for my hand, so I'm, I'm, I'm giving myself a little more time before I try to do anything like that since I had surgery. Most of this guy's details are gonna be his colors. Yeah. That is understandable. You! Talking about busting some ghosts? Hi! Hi! Just on a hypothetical, I can't play Phasmophobia for a little while. Yeah. The last time I played it, it made my hand hurt really bad. So, I, I'm being careful. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. It's You got a lot to do with just the mouse. Although, I wonder if it has controller support. <laughs> Good question. I should look that up. I'll look it up for you since you're drawing. Thank you. David. It's been alright. Uh, yeah. I've been playing Armor Core 6 because Sarah told me that game was out and streamed it, and it's been in my brain. Nice. I don't know anything about that game, but I see so many people talking about it. It's really fun. Uh, made by From Software. So, if you if you like Mecha and you enjoy the fast-paced kind of combat that uh, that uh, like Bloodborne and Sekiro have, or more so, then you'll enjoy this one, especially with the amount of verticality it has to it. Is that what Sarah was playing the other day when we were on call? Yeah, it was. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, it looks fun. Yeah, it's. It's really good. <laughs> the the amount of time from stuff had spent like working on the uh, the Soulsborne series of games really really shows with um with how it comes into play in this one because I I'm at the the final boss of like the first chapter and I like Maria of the of the clock tower <laughs> is spiritually within the the mech that I have to fight there. Oh, right, you're having a good time. Yeah. Um, also, controller support has been fully implemented into Phasmophobia. Oh, oh my god, that's gonna save me so much that pain. Yeah. Holy shit. I'm just gonna find a controller that I can hook up to my computer. Yeah, although I think Bluff, if, if we're talking about playing horror games, Bluff, 
talked about wanting to play that one, um, like, tomb raiding horror game that's yeah. basically Phasmophobia. It's Phasmophobia with mummies. Phasmophobia, but with mummies, and also the mummies can mess with you in worse ways than the ghosts could. Yep. <laughs> in ways that more fluff explains, I, I hate the further and further it goes on. <laughs> Yeah, I love to do Phasmophobia streams. I will say, though, like, um... I'll probably turn off most of my... startling... redeems. And make them, like, bit redeems only. So, if I'm, if I'm going to die on stream, I'd better at least be getting paid a few bucks for it. You should... You, you should just make bit redeems that are significantly worse and more horrifying. <laughs> I have a couple already. I have the reverb fart as a redeem. And I have that horrible Android phone sound as a redeem. Uh, but those aren't like... Those aren't like get you kind of scary, especially yeah, when you're playing from like Phasmophobia. If you are playing Phasmophobia and you're already anxious and scared, a sudden loud noise is gonna get you no matter what. That's fair. I forget that we are built different from one another. <laughs> oh yeah. Um, I'm gonna, it's, it's a big one, but I'll, um, I'll do it for free so Jack can see it. Mm. I'm find myself a And I'm breaking down. Wow, look at me. Oh my gosh. I pressed the hot key. I'll just let him go for a minute. That's so funny. Looks like he's dancing to Diddy Kong Racing. Oh yeah, it's, it, uh, Kiwi, it's gonna be a little star theme to that. Alright, what do we got? Oh, I've also got Metal Pipe as a big redeem. Oh yeah, that one would get anyone, I think. That'll fuck you right up in the middle of a ghost hunt. Uh, this, this one's my favorite. Let me play it, hold on. There we go. Uh... It did not make a sound. <laughs> I heard nothing. Um, <laughs> I just see floating across when you said this one. I just saw floating across the screen, and I thought, <laughs> "Oh, is there is there something playing with that?" Yeah, hey, chat heard it great. Here, let me fix it. Properties. Yeah, yeah, y'all can hear it. We couldn't. Um. I'm gonna just refresh the cache on both of my stream elements things. Alright, let's try it again. Yep, there we go. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that, that would also get you. Yep. <laughs> it's a... It's just really funny to think about because if I if we were like in the middle of playing Phasmophobia or even at the start and we were just entering into the house to like look look around to see what the what the clues are and everything, and suddenly I just hear fart with reverb, I think I would just lose it laughing. I don't think I would be scared. I think I would just I, I would just die from the ghost hearing me laugh from like three rooms away. <laughs> Very <laughs> Alright, this little bat is not gonna have any shaving on it, I don't think. Oh, I love the ears. Thank you. I might need a slightly different yellow. Um. Let's try that. <laughs> this. This little bat has such, like, and I mean this in the most complimentary way possible, it has such, like, Mario character vibes to it. Mario? Like, it, this feels like it would be uh, an NPC in, like, one of the, the Mario and Luigi RPG games. You know what, yeah, I can see it. And yes, 
course it's gonna have sparkles. Of course. Of course. Yeah. Oh my god, your neck. What? <laughs> Careful with that thing. <laughs> oh. Oh. Ow, oh, be careful also with your horns and me. <laughs> I can smack you. <laughs> you can, but you shouldn't. <laughs> You're lucky we're in two different dimensions right now. Oh wait, I can do another one, hold on. I'm not flinching. <laughs> I'm ducking, I'm ducking. I'm bobbing, I'm weaving. You're missing, you're missing, you're missing. I want to face more forward instead of angled. Yeah, I'm bigger now. Now we actually look like we're just sitting next to each other. Oh yeah, it does. <laughs> yeah. Welcome, you can use my mic if you need. Oh, thanks. Yes, I'm <laughs> Oh my god. Also, I'm, I'm pretty confident in saying that um, sometime next week we can do that Digimon stream we were wanting to do. Yeah! Um, uh, 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 my chat doesn't know about that yet, so, um, describe it. We want to do a group drawing challenge where we, like, randomly generate a Pokemon. Excuse me. And we try to turn it into a Digimon. So we redraw it and redesign it to be Digimon coded. Yeah. I think that'll be fun. Some of them are a lot easier to do than others, because there are some Pokémon that just straight up look like an existing Digimon. I'm looking at you, Trevenant. I'm looking at you, Combustion. <laughs> yeah, like, if, if you randomly generate Combustion, I'm gonna just say, no. Roll again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, that's fair. Rerolls won't be allowed, just because there's quite a few Pokémon that could just already be Digimon. Yeah. <laughs> Which we've already decided on in uh, in our own free time. Yes, we have. The Salvador Pokemon teams, you're so correct. Good catch. <laughs> so many Pokemon with jeans, uh, in camo, some of them with guns, maybe. So many guns. Mm. If you have Blastoise, the trick is to just add more guns. I was literally thinking Blastoise. I was gonna say that's one of the <laughs> easiest ones to do. That one you can just turn into Gargomon. <laughs> you know, I'm summoning Froggins with my mind because their their star count is in danger. Speaking of Digimon, I've been working on that Smasher Pass, um, yeah. and every time, like, I've gone through so many Digimon already, um, and every time I think, okay, I surely must be getting part of the way through this, I then realize I still haven't gotten through, like, all of the Digimon partners for the, um, the original, like, eight kids from Adventure 1. And I'm just like, fuck, man! I haven't even gotten to Vmon yet. This is gonna, <laughs> this, this is t this is gonna be a while. But like, it's only because I have to look through to make sure that I'm not like skipping a variant of, of a Digimon that exists. Yeah, it's it's uh, a careful science. Yeah, because I'll I'll get through them and I'll be like, okay, that's all like 17 variants of. Of a uh, Gabumon's line, right? 
okay, and then I'll be like five Digimon in later, and then I'll learn that there's another version of Metal Garurumon, and I'm just like, oh my god, Digimon, please. <laughs> Yeah, uh, Zero Aura is one that you have to re-roll on, that one's just a Digimon. Yeah, that one is just... Renamon. Yeah, I'm pretty sure even if uh, people aren't into either Pokemon or Digimon, they can absolutely enjoy the spirit of what we're doing on stream. Oh yeah. Just enjoy the craft. Yeah, just take a guy, put him in a... Put him in... Like the washing machine for a little too long, move them <laughs> out to hang dry, and that's the Digimon. Yeah. Make them all scrub clean. Yeah. yeah. That would be fun though, because like there are there are just design elements that are very easy to read as Digimon, but not even all Digimon have those elements. There are some like the eyes are the most I think notable feature of yeah. a Digimon, but that being said, there are a lot more than you would think there are that don't have that eye design. Yeah, I know, yeah. It's, yeah. it's not a consistency across the board, but it, it definitely yeah. adds to it. Yeah, it's definitely just like, it's one of those things that, um, because it's recognizable, it's very easy to mistake as being more prominent than it actually is. Yeah. Yeah. The, the rules are fast and loose and they're broken all the time. Yeah, and I love that for Digimon. <laughs> I... <It's> so fun. <laughs> Just... Me looking at every like partner Digimon and going, these are three to seven different art styles for each of these Digimon individually. It's so fun though. <laughs> Excuse me. You are killing Kiwi with this star pad here. Targeted attack, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you really just pointed right at Kiwi and decided to to commit a crime today. <laughs> the funniest part is I started drawing this before they showed up, but they showed up literally right when I started. <laughs> <laughs> they felt it. They yes. knew. I had the head shaved out and they're like, oh, what? I, I, I love Angoramon with all my heart and soul. That boy is a Sonic, like, Archie comic character design. And that thing is not a Digimon, and I love it. I have to be reminded what that looks like. Hold on. I'll look it up. Oh, yeah. Trying all day, and you show me the cutest little bat. Aw, oh, Kiwi. And I'm breaking down now. Beautiful. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I always forget this one's name. Yeah, I love that one. And you're so right, I'm just gonna let him dance. I'm just gonna let you look if you wanted to dance, and there you go. <laughs> Bull stimming right now. Yep. Yeah, <laughs> Grom one is- Go ahead. He's dancing to Diddy Kong racing. He's feeling it, he's feeling it. Yeah, and Goromon is, like, one of, if not, my absolute favorite Digimon, just because seeing him in motion in Ghost Game, like, I may have mixed feelings about Ghost Game, mixed to positive feelings about it, but every time I see Angoramon on screen, I'm like, this is, this is made for me. You're so valid. Uh, Notorious, I, I haven't done your character here at Docs before, uh, I have done it for not safe for work commissions though. Um, that's the only thing I've ever done your character here for. I might do that for adopts later, but like the um, the market is so dry right now. Um, I'm kind of just trying to throw shit at the wall right now.
Let's see what sticks. Um, also, uh, Kazu, I, I can stream draw on your commission whenever that happens. But uh, as for guests on my stream, uh, I usually reserve that for people I personally know. But I appreciate the enthusiasm. What's this link? Uh, Jellymon is very fun. I love that she can just kind of like she can just kind of like compress herself into her her jelly hat head. <laughs> Little UFO gremlin. She literally her intro to the series is her like messing around with cryptocurrency. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and she, yeah, like, oh, I think she shows up in episode three or four. It's one of those. Um, and literally, like, her, the human she gets partnered up with is like, I'm pretty sure my room is haunted because my computer is going wild and just like, I'm starting to amass money in ways I don't understand across the seas. And then she shows up and it's just like, yeah, I've been messing around with cryptocurrency just for fun. <laughs> That's so fucking funny! I can't believe there's a Digimon crypto bro! And it literally, it, it, it like breaks the economy, the online economy so hard that it causes a, like, a Digimon to be summoned who is supposed to be like, uh, oh god, I don't remember what he's like proclaimed as in the show, but he's just supposed to represent the like, uh, the flow, the economic flow and like stability in like currency exchange or whatever. And he just shows up and he's absolutely ready to kill uh, uh, Kyoshiro, the human partner, because he's just like, you like all of these came from your IP and uh, you've messed with the stability of, you know, the economy. So I'm just going to blast you with lightning now. That's so fucking funny. Could you imagine? If in real life a crypto bro does like a pump and dump and to get punished and Digimon manifests in their room. Please, I want Digimon to be real for that reason specifically. Just that one. Yeah. <laughs> no, That's the funny. Guest starring on CoffeeZilla. <laughs> the funniest part is, Jellymon was fully ready to let Kyoshiro die. It's just that she. It's just that she saw him get slightly serious and was like, I think I'm in love with this human now. And like, oh. if if she hadn't fallen in love with him, she would fully have just like let him die and been like, them's the breaks, kid. That's so funny. She's such a little goblin. I love her. Are you such a brick? <laughs> Like, how many colors can I cram onto this one character? So many. As many as possible. Ow. Show the crit. Is fine, but my shoulder is not. Oh no. I have tendonitis in my rotator cuff. No. Oh. It's been a little better after surgery though. Just every now and then it'll feel like something's stabbing me up in the shoulder area and I'm like, where did you come from? <laughs> get out! Get out of my house! No. Spray some with a water bottle label labeled painkiller. <laughs> yeah.
Yeah, but um, if anyone, if anyone, like, I definitely recommend the first few episodes of this game when the partners show up because those are very fun. Um, but if anyone wants a more like episodic horror themed Digimon series, go for that one. Um, and when I say horror, I mean they get into some like body horror existential stuff. Indeed. Speaking of Digimon, you and I, you and I watched Tamers together because it's your favorite. Um, we did watch Tamers because it's my favorite. <laughs> yes, and it was very good and I loved it. Is there any other Digimon you want to watch together? Um, I feel like just because I, I made your experience it, I think we do need to watch Frontiers, but in the English dub specifically. Yes. That would be so funny. Yeah, I think, I think, like, that one, because of how much Tamers genuinely made you cry, I think we need that one as, like, a, a palate cleanser. Yeah. Um, Great we, idea. Yeah, we honestly, it's one that we don't even need to pay full attention to. We can just riff on it if we're watching the English dub especially, because that, that one, that one's definitely in that era of, like, early 2000s, um, English adaptations where they were like every character is making a witty and sarcastic comment, a quote unquote witty comment every like three sentences. Yeah, four kids is really bad about that. <laughs> they are, but it does bring some quality entertainment. It does. Like, four kids did so much wrong, but they just. They also did so much right. <laughs> Yeah, the, um, the first few, the, like, first season of the, the Pokemon anime is, like, peak, they did it right, in terms of that kind of quality. Yeah. Because I'm surprised, I'm surprised they decided to keep, uh, Team Rocket as flamboyant as they were, and that wasn't something that they tried to, like, cover up or whatever. Yeah, I kind of, you know, this is... This is a theory, I have nothing to back this up other than my own intuition, but it's possible that they kept it in because they're bad guys and they're not supposed to be role models. Ah, uh, I see. So, they they show how very clear they are on screen, and they're like, these are the bad guys! You're not supposed to do that! Mm. But they, they did cut some stuff. Um, there's, there was an episode with the bikini contest. Yeah. And they cut that episode out entirely. Yeah, and it was the episode where Ash catches Tauros, and that one wasn't, like, aired in the West because it features so many guns pointed at Ash. Yes! Insane. Absolutely wild. That being said, <laughs> joke's on you, Hayes Code, you gave us more iconic non, like, straight characters to love. Hell yeah! You fool, you absolute fools! You fucking idiot! <laughs> Pussy! Yeah, I love that one interview that's just like... That one interview quote where they're talking about, um... Drawing, uh, Jesse and James in terms of, like, their original Japanese names, which are, like, uh, Kojiro and Musashi. Yeah. Um... And just talking about how, like, they tried to draw James in, like, a male costume at one point, and it didn't feel right, and so they put him in, like, a femme costume, and they were like, this is correct. Yes. They are correct. Where are you sleeping? There you are. Don't mess me. Nope. <laughs> there you go. Very distressed. <laughs> Making you work for it. <laughs> um, yeah, in terms of like a joke Digimon series, definitely English Up Frontiers. Um, we can 
We can maybe watch Digimon Data Squad or Savers because that one is like, that one's kind of buck wild. Yeah. Yeah, oh, that's the one. Uh, we're not for of course. That's the one where they were trying to make Digimon uh, a little more like a little more edgy for their growing audience who were also edgy, which is funny because Digimon was already edgy to begin with, so I don't know why they needed to to like lean into it. Yeah. Like like I'm looking at Where Garurumon and you know, every that one's a really good design, but like that one you have to have edginess ingrained in you just from birth to really like it. Yeah. 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 Um. That man. <laughs> but um, we could maybe do that one because it's kind of a trip. That's the one where I told you that like that Boncho Leomon shows up in. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. 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 I like this every time. Yeah. Like, here's the thing. Digimon series aren't bad, but it's like, outside of Adventure 01, 02, and Tamers, it's hard for me to think of any to recommend because I'm like, okay, Frontiers is funny in the dub, but it's a little bit, like, boring in its original Japanese version. Uh, Data Squad is, like, hit or miss depending on the personality, because I know that there are some people that... Uh, have it as their favorite, but it's also like one of the ones that nobody ever talks about, not even in terms of like a negative way, because it just kind of exists. Um, I see. Cro Cross Wars is the one that has the protagonist Digimon that I hate, that me and Sarah both hate. All my homies hate Shoutmon. Oh, that, yeah, that weird looking one. Yeah. Um, so we're not watching that one. <laughs> uh, oh, Atmon! Atmon I hear is really good. I haven't started watching it yet, but that's the one I hear, like, a lot of good things about, even though it's the most, like, people don't know about it and accidentally skip out on it of the Digimon series. What's, what's it called? Atmon. A-P-P-M-O-N. Oh. Okay. Yeah. It's a little bit of a spin-off, but it's Digimon still. Yeah. Um, I'm down for anything. Yeah, we can watch that one. And like, Ghost Game is fun. Like I said, uh, the first few episodes are doable, but like after that, if you're not good with like body horror or existential stuff, I don't recommend it. Even if they do present in a like, even if they do resolve each episode, because each episode is episodic. Um, yeah. it's the it's one of the few Digimon series that has, like, done that. Um, each one ends in, like, a... And then the day was saved, and everyone's memory were... Like, every non-Digimon-having person's memory was wiped, and uh, life continues on. But that show does have a body count. That show does straight-up yeah. kill people. Rough. Yeah. <laughs> Shout-out to Digitamon, who literally eats people. But that one does have, like, they got some really, like, top quality animators on that one. They got their, like, best animators from One Piece and Dragon Ball on that one, especially nice. for the for the fight sequences. Like, you can, you can literally tell when the budget for the episode kicks in. I bet. Oh my god, I actually, I would probably want you to, like, check out, uh, at the very least, the, like, intro to one of the later episodes that, um, uh, Kazuhamon shows in, because they, that episode starts with a cold open, and the, the vibes of it are so off in, like, the best way. Like, they, whoever, whoever directed that episode like, knew what they wanted to do for that intro, because it hits that creepy factor so good. Oh, shit! <laughs> Sorry, I just read what Slink Nick said. Yeah, I- I know- I know the Digimon they're talking about. 
That's fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> that... That's the one where Gamamon learns the... that Digimon can die. <sighs> yeah. Whoops. Whoopsie. Yeah, my only gripe with that show is that <laughs> it's so many! Uh, my only gripe about Digimon Ghost Game is that for a show that, like, that coats the value of life, uh, for humans in Digimon towards its, like, its, like, uh, protagonist Digimon, Gammon, uh, and it doesn't do a great job with having the, like, the impact for the main characters of, you know, the amount of humans that get, like, psychologically and physically tortured and just, like, put through the worst situation. Like, they have, you know, they do go and fight it, but it's like, one of you get a little bit more of a fire under your ass. I know you're all trying to be level-headed about this, but, like, I, one of you needs to, like, get up and run immediately into the direction of the, the bad stuff that's happening, please. Yeah. Uh, and just... The, am the amount of Digimon that, like, are the villains and do some of this wild shit to, like, numerous people that they just let get away with with a slap on the wrist and a, now don't do that again, and they're like, okay, you beat me, I won't do that again, even though I literally almost, like, committed a mass genocide on the entire population of Tokyo. Um, it's just, like, it's unforgivable. Quite frankly, it's like, it it's so, it's so wild that they just, that they let them go like that. That they don't just like, they aren't just like, okay, no, you're a problem and like, we don't want to take lives, but we do need to take yours because you are a problem, actually. You're bad, you're dangerous. Yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty frustrating. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, Mummy Mons is a good one. Um, I also like the uh, the vibes of the episodes with Rapamon, both episodes. Oh, I'm doing some stretches. Yeah, stretch out your hand, your back. Yeah. Everyone out there, unpretzel yourself. Yes, Foster check for everybody. Yeah. Yeah, I so sorry to commandeer your entire dream with Digimon talk while you draw this adorable bat creature. I, I quite literally asked for it. <laughs> I know, but I feel like every time I talk about Digimon I have to apologize for it. <laughs> Never apologize uh, for being who you are. <laughs> Never. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Digimon Ghost Game is like, aside from the parts that are like frustrating about it, it is a great ride if you just like let yourself go uh, and enjoy the fact that it is a Monster of the Week thing and just like listen. Ghost Game? Ghost Game introduces a plot and then immediately forgets it has a plot until, like, someone nudges it with their elbow and is like, Oh, right, shit, let me introduce that element again. So, like, if the show doesn't remember it has a plot, you don't need to worry about it having a plot either. Just enjoy each monster coming up with, like, a new messed up way to... to... uh, put people through the ringer in ways you couldn't even conceive of for that Digimon. Incredible. Yeah. Oops. Yeah, and I... 
it's also one of the few seasons where I like the two supporting uh, Digimon Mega levels, but I don't really care much for the for the main characters because it's kind of just boring. Like it's just a very safe design. Please show me. I will. Hang on. Thank you. To get like a good full body of. Okay, here it is. It's just, it's a little boring. They could have done more. I see what you mean. I do like the colors, though. Oh yeah, the colors are a great touch. Um, one thing that I heard. Oh, sorry. Uh, I just said it's good pink. Yeah, it's a very good use of pink accents. Yeah. Um, one thing that I did hear though, which like I agree with, is um, for the card art of this Digimon, um. The way that the like midsection underneath that a chess piece is rendered makes it vaguely look like it's um uh it's kind of like a Justamon like power ranger suit situation, um, which like enhances the quality mentally of this design. Uh, but then like when you actually see the full design of it, it's like oh no, this is actually just one. This is the whole piece, this is the entire thing, and that kind of like, that kind of uh, downgrades it a little bit. Bummer. Yeah, like it, it definitely would have been better if that just like midsection was um, more like fabric or more like a synthetic suit with the like metal parts over it instead. Yeah. I, I, I understand your perspective. Yeah. Which, like I said, not a bad design, it's just very safe. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just okay. Yeah, just okay. Also, uh, Kiwi, I wish I knew which angle you were talking about. Cause, like, I can only... I mean, there's so many angles I can take when I'm in three dimensions. <laughs> Angle looking up, so, yeah, like that, I'm pretty sure. Just the, like, when you're looking up towards the screen. No look at you. <laughs> I'm staring you down. It's it's so fun that I can do that. I can just menacingly look at people. Like if you say a bad pun, I get to do this. Yeah. Like <laughs> like it definitely has more effect when you can in full motion do that and turn your head than if you just like place yourself next to me. <laughs> Um, let me show you the other two Mega's designs, because while this one is boring, the other two are definitely a lot more, like, a lot more fun. Yeah. So here we have, here we have Amphamon. We go up. Oh, that looks really fun. Yeah, all the... Uh, all the, like, Digimon partners for this season, uh, all have this, like, theming of different stories of beings and creatures from, like, folklore or just general, like, hearsay. So, the main character's partner is based around, like, angels and demons. Um, this is Jellymon's line, and she's based on aliens. Um, when she, like... When she squashes up into her little, like, jelly head hat, she looks like a little UFO. It's very fun. I love that. Uh, yeah, and then, um, my boy Angoramon is based on Beauty and the Beast. His entire oh. line has him go Yeah, his entire line has him going through, like, awkward, like, shy boy to, like, charming young man to 
big monster and then to to DR Bitmon, who I've shown you before, but I'll show you again. Please do. I'm always down to look at Digimon. Yeah. In fact, you want to just send me his whole evolution line? <laughs> yes, I do. Thank you so much. I know I can always count on you. I'll send you all their evolution lines. I'll make you look directly at all of them. <laughs> I'm perceiving. Oh god. Do you want me to send you pictures of them for, like, their reference art for the anime or their official artwork? Because one is going to look clean and the other is going to look real scrungly. Surprise me. All right. So we got Gamma. Oh. That was cute. Shout out to this person on YouTube who made two different compilations, one of Gamamon like happy screaming and the other of Gamamon going, ah, uh? in every like episode. Aww. That person, that person is definitely neurodivergent and found like their, their creature of, of interest. Yep. These ones I'll send to you in a group because they are all his evolutions. Thank you, Kiwi. Those are Petal, Kaos, and Vezin Gamamon. Those are cool. I like the one with the knee jets. Oh, yeah. The first one kind of looks like Greninja. You're right, it kind of does. Oh it's my god, you're right. Shape and everything. Yeah, you're so right, it does. <laughs> My favorite is the is Wesen Gamon, the green one. I just I like that he's a Triceratops. Yeah. This full on Triceratops. Yeah, and this is uh, and this is a uh, Gulus Gamamon. Ooh. Yeah, he's the bad boy. He he has a body count. He has killed Digimon. Yeah. Everybody's telling me about that one. Yeah. He shows up literally four times in the series before the final two episodes. Yeah. I, yeah. Like, like, they set him up to be such a, like, such a, an important role of a character, but he shows up literally four times. It'd be like that, I guess. <laughs> It really do! It really do be like that sometimes. Uh, and then... I here. was gonna say... Uh, I was gonna say that this back is done, but I think I'm gonna give it a back view. Which won't be difficult. But I was like, I'm gonna make this a quick and easy one, and I lied. <laughs> <laughs> you lied? You played a trick on yourself. I did. Fucking, I'm a fucking fraud. All right, continue sharing, sharing the Digimans. <laughs> Here are the mons. Uh, this is Kano Weissmon. Woo! Then... I, okay, I will say that one that you just said. That could be a Yu-Gi-Oh card. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I thought when I saw the card art. The card art. Well, yeah, the card <laughs> art too. But like when I saw the official art. That's, yeah, that's that's Yu Gi Oh. Yu Gi Oh yeah. also exists as a, in its own enigma of a design plane. <laughs> well, right now Yu Gi Oh is on its like generic modern anime phase because of the amount of like cute anime girl cards there are. Yeah. 
the the like dragon maids. Anyway, this is Regulus mod. Why are these pictures only so fucking small? The, yeah, like, even if I save them, the images are still gonna be kinda tiny. Yeah, it's just, Wait. The, the wiki for the Digimon wiki only has really small pictures and it pisses me off. Hang on, hang on, I'm gonna try something real quick, let me see. I'm gonna do with a favor here real quick. I'm gonna see if this works instead. If that makes any much of a difference. Yeah, there we go. Go ahead and give that one a click. Woo! Much better. Okay, that that one fucks. Yeah, I'll the reset. The shield is so cool. Yeah, I'll reset the one for Kano Bison. Check this out. Wow! 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 Sheesh! Yeah, I can, I can make myself look up at it. And then here's just the official art of Sirius Mon, which makes him look cooler than he actually is. It really does. Yeah, <laughs> the the anime does him no justice. No. So sad. So sad. This is the design where I'm like, I wish I made this. <laughs> I wish I had done this one. Yeah, yeah, I feel that a lot. It's There's like, God, the, like that. the, uh, whoever the designer is, their brain was huge. They, their brain was massive when they came up with that design. Yep. Your brain and cock are so massive. <laughs> <laughs> this one is coming up. Nice cock. Yes. <laughs> this one is for Slink Mink. Here is the horrible little gremlin. Oh yeah, I'll show that one on stream too. Let me pull up an image of her when she's like smushed into her head too. Yeah. Creature. Oh, <laughs> the, perfect. The Digimon Wiki already has an image of it for me. Oh, they did the God. work. Here we no, go. Look at the work necessary. Oh. Yeah, look at this little alien. That's cute. Can you believe this is in the shape of a crypto bro? <laughs> Honestly, I'm, I'm genuinely surprised. Actually, no. I can't say that I know this for sure. There might be a cryptocurrency out there named after this thing now. Oh god, yeah, you're right. Like a shit coin. A shit. It would be appropriate. Yeah, what's funny is that there is a Digimon that is just a coin. Yes, there is. Yeah, there are two. The Kozenimon and Ganemon. Uh, is a, oh. Is there a Digimon that's a crypto coin? Uh, crypto specifically, no. But I guess considering that Ko Kozenimon and Ganemon are both digital monsters. I guess that technically makes them crypto. Hi, I'm moving over you. Hi. 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 You can feel me ominously over your, over your shoulder. Honestly, it just feels really hot. Your fire is very warm. Oh, 
for a later, which I hope will get you quicker than than usual. It's, it's, I'm still sick of Florida. <laughs> it's so hot here, dude. It's it's so bad. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry about Florida. <laughs> but uh, here's. Tesla Jellymon, which is a very Tesla. good design. This is a it's fun design. Tesla? Yep, Tesla Jellymon. Because <laughs> uh, her element is electricity. Yeah, she's also into crypto. But she's Tesla for Tesla coil, specifically. You can't, you can't separate it in the modern age, you can't. Honestly, the only thing I think of Tesla when, when I hear the name, aside from the Tesla coils, is just the the car, a Tesla. Yeah. That's it. I I only think of Tesla coils and the car. That's yeah. it. My my brain goes Tesla Elon Musk crypto. <laughs> oh no, I'm sorry about that for you. <laughs> I'm sorry that I'm sorry the internet has done that to you. It's Twitter. I just yeah. wish Elon would let it go. Free it from his clammy little incel hands. Clammy little incel hands. Oh my god. Now I will I will be 100 percent serious here. Elon Musk is on the list of people where if I was in throwing distance of him. Anything that's in my hand is gonna no longer be in my hand. I'm gonna throw yeah. it at him. Yeah. I uh, will accept it, the legal charges that follow. Yeah. Well, for me, uh, it is my hand that's being thrown. If he's within throwing distance, I am. I am just going to. I'm gonna fight him, and he's that. That man takes no care of himself. He's gonna go down so easy. I support you. And, in um, Minecraft? <laughs> in Minecraft, NSA, yeah, Minecraft, age, Minecraft, Minecraft, Minecraft. In Minecraft, yeah. The Diamond um, Sword is gonna go swinging. I, um... Th this is my, my genuine thought. If I, if, if I or anybody ever actually, like, throw pie at him or, like, punch him in the face, and they, like, got legal charges, mm -hmm. I guarantee their GoFundMe will be paid in full. <laughs> Hey, bail me out of jail! This is my GoFundMe to bail me out of jail. It's not even gonna take 24 hours. Yeah, they'll be within like 30 minutes at best. Oh yeah. Especially if that incident was videotaped, it'll be like, uh... The video of that Nazi guy getting punched in the face while he's talking about picking a frog. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be the entire moment. It's gonna be like that. That the person responsible for that who uh, puts that GoFundMe up uh, is gonna get saluted like the the person that ate the the wall banana in that art exhibit. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Oh man. Anyway, here's that is jelly. <laughs> She's very cute. Yeah, and then you've seen Ephemon, but let me find her official artwork. Yeah. Because she's got friends in her artwork. Friends! Ah. I literally, I just googled Angora Mod, and I just opened like two separate tabs for images that came up in like the first page because they're they're screenshots from the anime, and he's just, I just, I just care about him a lot. <laughs> yeah. Wait, let me look up a picture of Angora Mod when he's. Sopping wet because. <laughs> oh yeah, when he, I 
think I've seen that picture actually. Yeah, he's just he's so skinny. He's all he's there. A tw he's a twink under there. How can they do this to him? Such a shame. <laughs> he's hiding the fact that he's a twink. Hey, literally look at the flesh suit that I'm wearing on screen. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go in a flesh suit. Yeah, in, in, in real life, if, you, oh, if yeah. you sneezed in my direction, I would snap in half. Yeah, you would. You really would. I'm, very, I'm incredibly fragile. Yeah. Yes. I had to say open it because it was forbidden. Oh, no. No! <laughs> Not allowed. Unacceptable. I must look at my boy. Unacceptable! <laughs> Send him to the principal's office and have him expelled. really good. I said it before, but that kid really really like put so much of his acting chops into that line delivery. That kid was everything. <laughs> that kid was the moment. <laughs> he ruined my dream journal! I did not! <laughs> the hell? Okay, Google is showing me this image, and it's linking me to this Reddit page, but I can't find the image in the Reddit page. Really? Maybe it's since been deleted and it's just, like, floating in the ether. Well, I'm about to open this image in a new tab. <laughs> Oh, okay. Jeez, I found damn, it. I I'm saving it to my computer to have for posterity. <laughs> you would download an NFT. You would I wouldn't. Like save. I wouldn't die in a girl, fugly. I wouldn't go anywhere near uh, an NFT. You know, you know the entirety of those like. Uh, songs that the Tony the Tiger voice actor sings in the Grinch animated movies. The what? You know the Grinch original animated movie, right? Was that Tony the Tiger? That was Tony the Tiger's oh. voice actor, yeah. Oh, Do you I not know this? I think I might have been told that before, but I just fucking, like, it left me. And so when you say that was like... Shit, what? Yeah, that was Tony the Tiger's voice actor who who did the role of like the uh, voiceover that's just like singing "You're a Mean One, Mr. Grant." Like that's him. I love it. Oh, good night, Kiwi. You're probably already gone, but thank you for coming. Night, thank Kiwi. You um, no, I was gonna say like every line he's just like. Uh, where he, like, pops off about how horrendous the Grinch is and how he wouldn't touch him with a ten-foot pole. Yeah. Uh, that's me about NFTs. <laughs> Rightfully so. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. That's not the image I wanted to send. Sorry, I accidentally sent... Sorry for Amphimon posting. <laughs> Never be sorry. Well, I'm sorry because that wasn't the right one that I wanted to then. I wanted to do Angora Monkoth, actually. Oh, shit. Dewey's not quite done yet. I haven't put it sparkles. It but doesn't have sparkles. It doesn't have sparkles.
Class at 8 a.m. You're right below me. Sonic character <laughs> and Goromon. He literally flies by spinning his ears. Yeah, that's Sonic. Yeah. But it's like it's a very Tails thing to do, but yeah. Oh you don't have school tomorrow. Oh, okay. But Acceptable, you're allowed to say. Whoa! I didn't know I could bend like this. Oh god. No. <laughs> oh. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Your neck isn't meant to bend like that. Yeah, it does bend like that. You're right, it does. <laughs> I can adjust that in the settings, but I, I like the violence of it. <laughs> the violence of it. Stream after I finish this thing too, anyway. Yeah. Wait. <laughs> Hang on. Uh. Here is Simbar and Goromon. That one's fun. Yeah, it is fun. Uh, I like it because when he he evolves to his ultimate level, uh, he has this cute little animation with his human partner, and he looks like that during it. Oh, that's really nice. Yeah. Not almost simple, well, not almost. It definitely looks like something that Terrier Mon could branch into. Yeah, absolutely. That or like Renamon. Yeah, that too. And then he evolves into Lamormon. Oh! Oh, a yeah. sprinkly little baby here. Let me find an image of Lamormon with his knives pulled out. He has knives! He's got knives! This boy's got knives! What do you have? A knife! No! He's got two of them! Two? No! Oh, nice catch, Kiwi. Here's 
Here's one of his knives. He's got two of them, but there aren't any screenshots of him wielding them, so here's one. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah, they're that's both serrated. Yeah. Delicious. Yeah. Such a charming boy. <laughs> and he evolves into that. Beautiful. Perfect in every way. <laughs> and then here's here's the official artwork for Dia Bitmon because uh Wow Yeah, his signature attack, he like curls up into a ball and teleports away and then creates like hundreds of clones of himself that slash with their sword. Hell yeah. It's it's really good. He's really good. Like, like, I'm looking at Sirius Mod over there, and I'm like, what do you've got? Like, two guns that have swords on that? Two guns that can become swords? Cool. This guy's got two swords and can teleport. <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter, P Brain can't teleport? <laughs> it's also like, oh. I mean, he can, he, he's got a billion clones. So it's like, stupid idiot has a learned shadow clone jutsu. <laughs> This would make a great plushie. I, 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 I might have had that in mind when designing it. So whoever buys it, if they do that, I'd love to see them. Oh, I forgot. I forgot about, uh, Gulus Gamamon's Mega, because his, his, he also has his own Mega. Ooh. It's his Arcturus Mon. Oh, wow. Yeah. I think he and Beals of Ancha hang out. I was about to say, this one's made for you specifically. It is. This is why I'm putting it in my pocket. <laughs> they, they designed Sirius Mon, and they were like, now let's make one for Nat, for well, Bull. I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to show this one on stream because it deserves to be perceived. Yeah, wait. I mean, they all do, but I have, I have limited brain space. Yeah, that's fair. Wait, let me... Small let me image, but he's still cool. Yeah, I'm gonna... Let me see if I can find some good card art, because the card art... Every card art for Digimon, especially in recent years, goes so hard. Like, they... They fuck so hard, dude. Yeah. I want, I want to have that card of, like, that hot fishman Digimon that we found. Yeah. That card up was gorgeous. Yeah, I I have a separate tab opened up that is literally just a collection of all the different like Digimon card art. If you want me to link you that. <laughs> sure, I'll find a hyperfixation moment and go through that. <laughs> well, I don't need to if you don't want me to. Oh no, I, I will. I will probably do it. <laughs> okay. Okay. It's just if I, my reaction there was like. I know I'm gonna end up doing that for hours, and I would love every second. Yeah, me too. I'm there with you. We're scrolling through it together. Hell yeah! <laughs> it's like it's like when kids bring over the like uh, their books with sleeves of Pokemon cards, except it's me with Digimon cards. Yep. Uh, here's one of the card art of Arcturus Mon. <laughs> Oh, that's sexy. Oh my yeah. God. I specifically chose that one because it's definite. It's very POV. He's standing over you. Wow. Wow, dude. I need to find this artist. Yeah. I'm just. I'm, I'm absorbing this into my brain real quick. Yeah, Q, yeah, there's nobody's gonna dethrone you anytime soon unless they do nothing but spam hog the entire time I stream. <laughs> wow. I'm just Yeah, the wow. the artists for these cards, like they they know how to capture the vibe of Digimon in such a 
in such a, a unique and lively way. Yeah. Yeah, that and, like, the official artwork by, um... I'm pretty sure the official art is still done by Watanabe Kenji, but I'm not sure. But, um... Yeah, the official art and the... It it's so funny because it's two different vibes because the official art is so like scrungly and then the card art is like is so sexy. Yeah. But they both are really good to look at. Yeah, they they got great flavor on both ends. Yeah, they do. The taste. Delicious. trying to find this other one of Arcturus Mon, but I'm trying to find a good one that doesn't just link me to eBay. Alright, cool. My cool mod is gonna freak out for a second because I just type. Um What should I name this thing? Um Dark Bat. Starburst Bat, maybe. Starburst. Blueberry Starburst. <laughs> Batberry Starburst. Batberry Starburst. Yes! He's popping off. Hold on. Wait, what was my hotkey for break dancing? Um uh, <laughs> I was gonna let me do that for a second. <laughs> I wish I had a back profile shot of my of my my PNG self. <laughs> I just oh 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 I can do something even better. Hold on, hold on. Yippee! Yippee! Thank you for the follow, Cypher. Really great moment to follow. I'm about to do something amazing. I'm about to blow your fucking mind. Hold on. I'm in front of you now. There he goes. <laughs> you know, some some neurodivergence they have a fidget spinner. I've got bowl. You got a, a fidget bowl. I've got a fidget bowl. <laughs> it's not oh. to help me when I'm fidgety, it's because bowl is fidgety. <laughs> Moment. Here, I'm gonna power you up even more. Here's the other card of Arcturus Mon that I was looking for. Holy shit! Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I'm awakening things in you right now. Absorbing this with every fiber of my being right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I feel, I feel like as soon as I started break dancing and I struck myself on the on the little stream avatars, I had to gather around to watch. <laughs> oh, I got it. <laughs> it just looks like I'm surrounded by all my like my little friends who are all just gathering for a good time, and I'm, like, watching over all of you right now. Now he's watching me. He's watching you go. <laughs> Look at me fucking go! Bye, Kiwi! Bye, Kiwi! Alright, let me put myself back. I'll, I'll, I'll keep breakdancing, though. <laughs> Set up your angle. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Wow! Chaos! Chaos!
Quick, quick, someone play a Bayonetta track in the background. <laughs> Holy shit. That's so bad. I I just learned a piece of information I shouldn't have learned. I just learned that there is Ningoramon plush. Hey, I hey, I need to look away right now. Actually, I think you deserve it. I think you should treat yourself, and you should get it. You should get it. You should treat yourself. Treat yourself. Uh... Treat yourself. Break dancing ball behind you, convincing you to treat yourself. Oh my god, I'm looking up right now, Ingoramon. <laughs> I'm trying to work and I'm just getting distracted. <laughs> yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. And I don't break dancing. Oh my god, let me look directly at him. No. How? Oh. Oh no. What? Oh no, is he out of stock? No! No! Please, the boy! Not the boy! Give me the boy! Show me the boy! Show me the boy! Bandai Namco, please, you want money, I want the boy. I'm willing please, to trade. I'm begging for the boy. I'm literally willing to give you money for the boy. Yippee! Yippee! Thank you for the fuck. Thank you, Lightning. My breakdancing is attracting the, the, the hose. Yeah, your breakdancing is really, is really doing it for you. <laughs> No, they're sold out. Pre-orders at they they released early August and pre-orders at most shops were already closed. No. Oh please, this is please, please, show me one shop that has some in stock left, please. The desperation in your voice is so palpable. No, the order is closed. Oh my god. I'm, I'm, I'm still haunted by that little vile haunt figure that doesn't exist anywhere trustable. <laughs> anywhere trustworthy, trustable is not a word. Oh, Digimon Ghost Game did a collaboration event with the Cerezo Osaka soccer team for their game on August 6th. And there's, oh, there's artwork of all the the main characters in like pink Yanmar shirts. That one got me a little bit. Not gonna lie. Just a little bit. It got you. Just a bit. Just a bit. Look at them all. Look at <laughs> look at Hello. all of them. Thank you for coming to hang out, Lightning. Thank you for jump scaring me while I break dance. Stretch. Okay. I'll stop break dancing stretch. while I stretch. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh. What? Why am I angry? <laughs> I'm 
pull. Pull. Oh. You're looking off into the distance. Oh, there you go. Uh, there is. Oh! C is the hotkey that puts me back in the center. Now I know. Now you know. You. You. You could probably, like, message Lore at some point to be like, hey, what do all the hotkeys do? <laughs> Oh no, you say the hotkeys yourself. Um, so, oh, okay. Yeah, some of them uh, come with the program. I definitely yeah. just figured that one out right now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but, but yeah, it's, it's just something I have to look in the settings for. Okay. Yeah, now I'll stretch, now that I'm not tilted. I guess I'm a little tilted. I'm tilted forward. Okay, that's a little better. You're just a little tilted. Just a little. Oh wait, you know what? I, I have to show you something funny that I can do. Here. Oops. Oh no. Hold on. I gotta find a good spot. Okay, here we go. Hold on. I'll answer that question in a second. Are you ready? Yep. Whee! <laughs> 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 Thank you for tolerating my nonsense. <laughs> thank you for your thank you for your nonsense. I appreciate you being here to witness it. Okay, to answer your question, um, I actually did an art trade for this model. Um, but I will, I will direct you to who modeled it. It's my friend Lord Dragon. Let me give him a shout out in the chat. And I'll just dance. There you go. Um, and I'll go find his, his Twitter for you too. He does fantastic work, I highly recommend. There you go. I would say, um, this model, uh, was done for an archery. But, um, Based on how he prices his models, it would probably range in about it would probably be in about the a thousand dollar range. So I would just be ready for that kind of quote. It is so well worth it though. Mm-hmm. Also, Lightning spawned in as a Naruto character. I've been waiting for one of those to show up. and this guy will be actually done. Yay! In fact, instead of doing it one at a time, I'm just gonna open the guy from earlier and copy the watermark folder and just move it around. It's so tedious otherwise. Oh, Out of dang. curiosity, um, might be, what, um, if you were to get a model like this, what would you get modeled? That sounds sick as fuck. Good taste. Ooh, that does sound cool. Yeah. All right. Now 
that's done. Mm. And I'm about to dance around again because I have to type. Oh, that's me sitting. My favorite thing about my hockey situation is I set these myself. Um, and Lore told me that I can change it to be like a like control shift button for a whole hockey. Like I had to type all three of those to get it. Um, but I think it's really funny that I freak out whenever I type. <laughs> and I don't think I'm yeah. going to change it. Yeah, it's a lot funnier. It's hilarious. Um, Lightning, I am making an, uh, an adoptable to sell. Um, so this, this cute little bat is something that people can buy if they wish, and then it'll be their cute little bat. Little bat. Wow. <laughs> These um, preset poses are really fun. I just wish I could move my head while I'm doing them. Kind of like an energy? Absolutely not. <laughs> um, character adoptables have preceded NFTs by decades. I would not touch crypto ever in my life. Um, so it's like, let me see if I can explain this while I'm strutting down the catwalk. Um, NFTs are something that you don't actually own. Like, if you buy it, you're not buying copyright, unless that's part of the written deal that they give you. Um, you're just buying a link to an image. Uh, while Adoptables is, you buy the character, and oftentimes you buy the rights to the character depending on the seller's terms of service. So, like, if somebody bought this bat character from me, they could use it as their VTuber, or they could, it's just their character now, it's like, it's like buying a doll off the shelf. Yeah. <laughs> an adoptable is buying the, like, stuffed plushie on a shelf, and an NFT is like if someone bought the stuffed plushie and then tried to sell you the receipt so that you could sell the receipt to other people. <laughs> yeah. That's um, yes. it. Yes, lightning, kind of. It's it's like, um, if I could put it in corporate speak, if um, Marvel put Spider-Man up for sale and DC bought it, and now it's a DC character. That is pretty much like a small-scale version of that. Yeah. Yeah. You're welcome. Thank you for asking. Yeah. Sorry if my, um, my response to the NFT thing was a bit harsh. I'm very anti-crypto in every form. <laughs> Yes, I did draw that. That's what, uh, part of what I was doing today on stream. Yay! Thank you very much. Here, I can show you the other one I did earlier. Because I cranked out two designs today like a machine. There we go. Let me move myself a little bit. There you go, now my fire is not in its face. I can just scoot it on the canvas, actually. 
as a little bear. Yeah. So I'm gonna put um both of these guys up on my on my Patreon today, and my patrons will get first dibs if any of them want it. Um, and if none of them want it, then both of these are gonna go for sale publicly on the weekend. If so. none of them want it, then I'll just eat it myself. <laughs> Sorry, I like leaned into you there. I was setting my down. <laughs> <laughs> you've been, you've been like inches from my face the entire night. It's alright. Yeah. Usually it's on purpose. That time I was just setting an item down on the ground. <laughs> hey, speaking, speaking of uh, machines and things for purchase, do you want me to ruin you real quick? Sure, what is it? There, there is an official standing figure set of Machine Dramon that is, uh, has been officially released, and, uh, I'm just gonna, like, that's the box art of it. Uh, uh... Whoa! Holy shit! Hold on, I'm showing this. Hang on, then there's, like, an official image of what it actually looks like. Look at those skull kneecaps, that's so cool! Yeah, ma Machine Dramon is such a cool ass design. It's literally, it's lore is that it's made up of different parts of, uh, metal parts of other Digimon in order to create, uh, an anti aerial weapon. That's so cool. Yeah, and it's, it's like semi posable. You can adjust the way that it stands too. You can make it. <laughs> here, here's, here's an example of how you can pose it like a creature that it is. Whoa. Yeah, it's, this is one of those really complex model kits. Yep, it's a gunpla. Wow. Wow. Yeah. I have um, one of these self-assemble kits that's just been sitting in its box, because it, it's, like, I could do it. It's <laughs> just, um, you know, you have, to, you have to use, like, wire cutters to cut off the sharp plastic bits. Yeah. The squeezing motion it takes to do that with my hand hurt mm. so bad the last time I did that. Oh. Uh. So I just, I, I want, the one that I have that I really want to assemble, it's, it's, it's Mecha Godzilla with, uh, in even units colors. Ooh. It's so cool and it just sits there in the box. Oh. You, why don't you get one of your roommates to uh, to help you with it? One of them works full time and probably wouldn't enjoy a task like that. Uh, and the other one also has the same hand problems that I do. Oh my god. Yeah, me, me and my brother have a lot of the same medical problems. Oh um, no. So it just ends up that way. <laughs> I, mail uh, it to me, I'll cut every piece for you and I'll mail it back. <laughs> Thanks. You gotta pat it very carefully when you put it back in the box. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'll give it I'll give it a little kiss just to make sure. Thank you. That'll protect it. Lightning, this is the only 3D model I have. Oh. Um, but I did draw and design this character, and I've designed a few other Reference sheets that have since been 3D modeled by the same guy, Lord Dragon. I can show you those reference pages if you want it. It's like, I, I'm done drawing for the night, but I'm like, I'm still winding down, so I'm not exiting yet. Let's see. Well, do you want to? Do you want the most self-indulgent, like, your character here idea I that I got uh, when it was brought up earlier in the night? Yes. The most self-indulgent, like, your character here uh, auction I think you could do is, like, a, like a, it, one of your, like, characters with uh, the, like, your character here insert in, like, a... Not like a risque, what's that thing called? Like, Kabedon? You know what that is? Conceptually. 
Uh, yeah, just like pushing up against the wall, like one arm up against the wall where you're like kind of not cornering, but just like standing very close to another person as their back is pressed up against the wall. <laughs> I could do that. <laughs> yeah, you could do that. You could do that with either like a bull or with coyote, depending. I could do. Um, I, I, I'm gonna make a confession here, because I, I did say earlier that the only your character here commissions I've done have been poured. Um, all of those have been involving my characters. <laughs> I think I've only done it twice. I'm trying to... You're so valid. Obviously, I'm not gonna show that on stream. Hell no. Yeah, TOS. Um, yeah. Um, I can give you my commission sheet. And start dancing. Yeah. Nope, I guess that one doesn't work, is it? Singular. Nope, it doesn't work. Okay, I guess I'll just have to go fucking link it. <laughs> commission! Woo! Ah, Slink Link, thank you for subscribing to my Patreon! Oh my god! <laughs> it's okay, Lightning. We're, we're trying to figure out how Twitch works because Twitch doesn't like to make things easy for their streamers. Yeah, it, it's not Twitch's fault. Stream Elements has been bugging for me tonight. Um, there you go, that's my commission price sheet. Um, if you, I mean, if you or any of your friends are interested, this character that's on screen right now, this, uh, this angel dragon, this one is currently up for sale, and it comes with a 3D model. Model by lore. It's really good. It's also very thousand dollar. <laughs> no, this one's, this one's like way cheaper. Really? This, this, yes, it, this character would have been like... If you had commissioned me to make a ref of it, and you commissioned more full price, it would have been like well over a thousand. Um, but we're we're selling this guy for seven hundred. Wow, for seven hundred for both the reference sheet and a three D model, what a steal! <laughs> a fully rigged VR chat and VTuber ready three D model. <laughs> Tell me more about this fantastic offer. Well, what? I'm so glad you asked. <laughs> Cut to footage of uh, me in grayscale failing to perform a simple mundane task. Red X shows up over my body. <laughs> yes, the, 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 this is like a crazy bargain. Because uh, it, it's priced so cheaply because um, Laura has never done adaptables before and I've we've never done like a collab adaptable before, so we're just trying to test the market. Um But yeah, this is a a, a, a great a, a great steal. In fact, let me um Laura posted some videos of it. Oh, does Ari have the, the model, like, made? Yeah, it's made. There's, like, some small things to adjust on it, but it's, like, it's, like, done. Ooh. Here's it, um, dancing in VR chat to a uh, song. It's got, like, preset dance moves. <laughs> it's really cute. The video's so nice. Now, for, for any extra amount of money, could you... Uh, would whoever owns this be able to get lore to add an extra animation to it of course you uh you would give you a prize you could get you could edit it if you want you could make it um rigging more complex currently it's set to where the eyes on its body will blink like once every 30 seconds but it'll go like the first eye and the next eye and the next eye um, Ooh. It's got hand tracking too, so if you've got like a leap motion or you have hand tracking in VR, it's good, it's good to go. Oh man, that's really good. Yeah! We just gas it up real quick. <laughs> I'm watching the video, damn. Fuck it up, <laughs> Angel Dragon. Good at you, funky. Breath of the Wild looking ass dragon. 
That was one of the style inspirations for it. It was Breath yeah. of the Wild and Digimon. Yeah, it it's very prominent in the eyes for the yeah, uh, for the Breath of the Wild inspiration. I got it. There we go. Now my fire isn't in its face. Oh. There we go. Um, it's <laughs> its eyes also had some inspiration from Shin Godzilla because I like I like his silly fish eyes. Yeah. Googly fish eyes. Googly fish eyes. Yeah, good, good timing for me to advertise that fun thing that I got. Um, but as for other characters I've made, like, model sheets for, I, I've done, like, full turnarounds. Like, for my own character... Oh, oh, Sai almost did not like me to open that. Yeah. Something, um... Uh, one, uh, getting a model rest sheet like this is, like, minimum $400. Um, it depends on the character design and what all you want on it, like, points of interest. Um, but yeah, it's, it's generally $400, unless the character's, like, crazy simple, like a ditto or something. Then, of course, I'm not gonna charge $400. Um, but yeah, I've got quite a few of these. I've got one that I did for a, f a few friends. A couple that I've done for some friends. Here's one of a, a dragon. This is for Crit Edition on Twitch. He's a good friend of mine. And then another one I have. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Where's Saros? Oh, there it is. This is what I did for my friend, my friend Saro. Um, he also has a Twitch, but he hasn't, um, he hasn't debuted yet. But this, uh, this one got 3D, both this one and the Dragon have been 3D modeled by Lore, and they look amazing. Ooh, that's gonna be Saros? Yeah! This is Sarah's, he got it custom made by me, and it's fully modeled already, and he won't show it to me! <laughs> what? Wow, I... I don't think I can be here when he debuts that twirls hair behind you. <laughs> <laughs> You're so predictable. Yeah. But you're also incredibly valid. Um, <laughs> I think the humanoids too. Like more, more human-ish characters. Yeah. This is uh, one of more Dragon's characters. This is one of the things I did for our art trade. So I, I made two model sheets like this, not that one, and this one. Both of these are what I uh, did in order to get uh, this beautiful 3D model I'm wearing. And I, I have a few other things we want to hard train for, um, both of which I'm very excited for. I just need to have the time for it. Um, Lore wants a Hellboy-inspired version of his Sona, so he wants me to like funk him up with the with the, the flavor. Yeah, which I love. I love it so much. Um, and the other one, he wants a Digimon version of his Sona. Yeah! And it's gonna be called Lord Greymon. My god! Isn't it great? <laughs> Holy shit! There, there's no, no better name that it could have had. And it's, it's gonna be mostly inspired by Lord Greymon too. So it's even better. Yeah. Oh my god, Lord, your brain is massive. <laughs> <laughs> God, my favorite thing about War Greymon is that when he when he digivolves, he always screams the war part of his name. And I think I start to like scream the word lore when he introduces uh, that that design. Oh, he had better. He had better. Yeah, he had just reverse it and everything. Just lore Greymon. 
<laughs> but yeah, those are, um, oh, I think I have another model that I, model sheet that I did for myself, but I never got the character modeled. Um, where is it? This is my, um, Sona for the game, Okami. Their name is Iki. They're a little demon. Literally. They're a demon. Um... Long story short, I made this years ago, and I commissioned somebody to model it, but they had bad business practice, uh, practices, so I ended up having to get a refund. Um... So this, this one never saw the light of day, sadly. But maybe someday. And I believe that's all of my model sheets. Let me triple check. I have them all in a folder on my DBR stash. Is up for sale soon. For anybody curious, um, this one's going to be $140 at the start. Um, the price lowers if they don't sell quick enough. Um, and this one's probably going to be. Sold. Yeah, that was yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like I I like fun shapes. Um that was this good guy, fun shapes. Yeah. This guy and um this one uh, are just I had no like visual inspirations to run off of. Because, like, I don't have active commissioners right now, so I'm just kind of doing what I can. <laughs> mm -hmm. So these, these full-body adoptables are my solution. Oh no! sentence okay i can hear you now <laughs> okay <laughs> i'll i'll hear back in the in the vod to see it's, it's good. <laughs> oh wow yeah that was bad <laughs> <laughs> yeah i'm watching i'm watching it happen <laughs> <laughs> watching it like a car crash Alright, I think I've done the door for the night, let's switch screens. Yeah. 
yeah, that's fine. I honestly, what was happening with my internet there is basically like what was happening with me mentally, because in my head, I was just like, I was just mentally singing the um, the like oh oh oh. Like that. That's where I was mentally, so that's where I was physically too, I guess. Wow. <laughs> I can't believe your ADHD made the internet break. Yeah, so I was transporting to the digital world. <laughs> God, I wish. <laughs> That's POV, uh, you're me, and Bull is leading directly up into my face. <laughs> From earlier in the stream. Yep. Yeah! I'm not gonna end just yet, I'm waiting for what Lightning is gonna say. Keeping me on the edge of my yeah. seat, quite literally. Balls. Oh. oh, so, um... If you were to commission, like, a character design for me, um, the minimum price for just, like, a single full-body drawing is, uh, 150. Um, that, all that information is in my commission info. I know I linked it earlier, but I'm actually in. If you scroll down to my description, I also have it in one of my little information widgets. <laughs> but if you wanted, like, the full shebang of an entire character turnaround sheet, it's definitely gonna be more. Okay. I, I said I was on the edge of my seat earlier, which is literal and, um, virtual, because I've got my throne behind me, but I'm actually, like, leaning forward on my chair. Yeah. Details. Also, if it's if it's a specific character you have in mind, I guess for clarity's sake, are you asking about an adoptable, or are you asking about getting a reference image for a character of your own? Yeah, like if if you want me to design a character for you, that's a that's a custom design commission. It's not really an adoptable. Um, yeah. But yeah, if you want something like Hello Kitty. I, I guess it just depend on the details. I generally don't budge much on my custom prices because I I gotta pay more to get. I gotta eat. Um, yeah, Bull Bull lives in hell, which is yeah. I'm visiting him right now in hell. Yes. You're paying rent. You just don't know it. 
I don't live here. <laughs> You're visiting a paying rent. I'm sucking money out of your bank account. <laughs> Joke's on you, I don't have money in my bank account. Oh shit! Well, I wonder why there's no money in your bank account. Where are you thinking, wait? Angoramon. I took it. It's mine now. <laughs> oh yeah, then explain... Explain the amount of Angoramon <laughs> merchandise that I have. <laughs> you, you get home later and your Angoramon stuff is just gone because I took all of your wealth. <laughs> I have the Angoramon stuff. <laughs> directly to hell. I come directly back to hell and I kill you in <laughs> Minecraft. Uh, yeah, Lightning, if you wanna, like, DM me or shoot me an email. And you want like a price quote, I can give you a price quote. I can always provide that so people know what to look for. Oh, okay. Let's shut up and read. Yeah. And I'm probably gonna start freaking out. Yep. Yep, there, <laughs> there you go. Yep. Sure, I spelled their name right. Okay, we're gonna be raiding my friend Hero Tofu. It looks like she's drawing. I don't know what she's drawing yet. I didn't. I didn't look long enough to find out. I know. We're gonna find out. Oh, it's it's slash raid. What's wrong with me? <laughs> I've been so good about not doing that. There we go. Alright. <laughs> yeah, you, you can't you can't do the rate for me, but I appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um I, I did it. I, I got it, don't worry. Uh thank you all for coming. Thank you for coming to witness my first debut of this beautiful 3D model. Please check out more stuff. Um Everybody get a snack, hydrate, do your stretches, take your meds, I have to go take my meds, um, hail Satan, good night, I love you, dog dog. dog.